from the 58th Annual CMA Awards in Nashville. We're in Nashville, CMA Awards coverage on Froggy and Forever Media, brought to you by Wayne uh, Lumber and Supply, Mata Heating and Air, and Murphy Family Inc., and Matt Stell joins us. Yes, sir. Hey, I was just talking to your label, man. You got a song burning up the chart. Hey, man, we're celebrating the top 20, man. Uh, you know, it's always a blessing to have have music out, uh, but but when it starts to kind of react with people, and uh, man, that's 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 the whole name of the game, you know. And it's it's uh, it's been a great ride, man. Looking forward to Breaking it. Breaking in boots. Yes, sir. It's upbeat, man, and it's it's just one of those songs you hear it and you're like, oh yeah, I like that song. Man, I hope so. You know, like I I, I like tempo on the radio a lot of times, and I've been uh, I've been guilty of not always uh, <laughs> not always releasing that. So I, that was a concerted effort this time, man. I wanted to get something. I want to get a banger uh, on the radio that uh, when you listen to it, you may want to turn it up, and and uh, so that's it's what we try to do. Perform live as yeah, well. Yeah, it's great to perform live, man. I think about that all the time. Like, you know, having those songs that you can you can put in your set that people know that are up tempo. You know, for a long time, it was, you know, it's covers. You know, that you do that to try to get the energy up. And so, uh, you know, now with this one, you know, it's looking like we'll have have one of our own uh, up tempo things to do, maybe. So, Country Music Awards here this week in Nashville. This is a special week because I know you guys are always on the road, right? Yeah. And, and everybody's in town. The whole industry converges. Absolutely. That's that's one of the best parts about it, man. Everybody's here from the makers of the music to the promoters of the music to, to the, the, the people that get it out in front of everybody. Songwriters. Songwriters. Media. Everybody. Exactly. The media. Everybody's out here. And uh, so you cross paths. Like, I just saw, you know, Ashley McBride, you know, fellow Arkansan uh, right then. And, you know, like Jordan Davis is why we got to speak to him for a minute and it's like it's one of those times where the paths cross you can say what's up yeah because normally the only artists you really see are the ones that might be touring with you absolutely like that like awards times and festivals you know a lot of times festivals because of the bill you'll get to see uh a lot of folks but uh but yeah this is a special time so i i, I heard that uh, you're a big golfer i enjoy it yeah uh, the U.S. Open is coming to Pittsburgh in 2025 at Oakmont. Uh, Absolutely. You ever played any of the courses around Pittsburgh? Yeah, I've played uh, Nemecolin, if that counts. You fly uh, Mystic Rock. Yeah, yeah, Nemecolin Resort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two courses there, Mystic Rock and Shepherd's Rock. There you go. I've played one. No, I played both of them. Uh, we, we did. We went and played both of them. And I know that's not technically no, Pittsburgh, that but you fly into the Pittsburgh airport to get there. At least I, I consider did. that the Pittsburgh region. I, I can tell you this, it. they can hear you on Froggy there. Hey, so. that's how you know. <laughs> that's how you know. And I've played those courts. Those are beautiful. A beautiful courts. There's a there's a, a there's a zoo in the middle yeah. of it. It's wild, man. Just like you just be out there in the fairway and you'll hear just like, you know, a tiger getting <laughs> mad at a at a alligator or something well, i don't know there is a zoo on one of the holes you can kind of see the zoo from uh, i think it's on shepherd's rock but you can see like the the monkey cage or something i don't know it's just this bizarre thing when you're playing yeah I, I may have this story wrong but i'm gonna tell it anyway right. i think i think one night john daly was there and he uh like after supper that night after a night of fun uh, I think he took like a bunch of steaks from the cooler and went and fed the lions or something. Yeah. Like throwing it over the fence or something like that. That creeps I me out a little bit that there's a lion, you know, on the property. Yeah. I'm thinking there's a fence, but I if he was mad enough, he could probably climb that thing. Yeah, I've never been a yeah bigger fan bigger fan of a fence is like when there's a lion between on the other side. <laughs> <Right>. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's talking about Nemecolin Resort in the uh, Laurel Island, south of Pittsburgh. They Joe Hardy that owned 80, he passed away a couple years ago. 84 Lumber, 84 yeah, Lumber, yeah. he built that resort up there. It's beautiful. Well, so. we had some friends that took us out there, and it was it was fantastic. So you're a good golfer then? I don't say good. I mean, I'm a nine handicap. Ooh, we got down to a nine this year, you okay. know. So uh, humble brag, but single digit handicap. And this next year, we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, get down towards close to even par if we can. You know, we got high hopes, we got high, we got dreams, and now we just gotta execute, put the work in. Well, I know it's a long conversation about golf here, but the U.S. Opens at Oakmont Country Club, yep. and someday when you come to Pittsburgh, you gotta get out there and play. Absolutely, that's a tough one. Those greens. Yeah, I've I've had friends that have played out there that says it's one of the, it's beautiful, but it's one of the biggest challenges in golf, and the kind of that old school challenge. You know, it's uh, it's a it's a really um, really prestigious place. So obviously, U.S. Opens going there. So that's right, that's right. It'll be real tough. Matt Stell, visiting with us here at the CMA Awards. Congrats on all your success. Another song moving up the country music charts, and thanks for spending time with us here at Froggy. Absolutely, and thank you to the Steelers for making me a bunch of money this year. Oh, you betting on them? Oh, I've been I've been riding them like a sway back mule. Okay, <laughs> I have made money. You bet that you bet them. You short them the first half, and then you bet them to win. And uh, I'm telling you. 
I'm going to be able to afford the green fee at Oakmont if I ever get the opportunity because of those wonderful, wonderful Pittsburgh Steelers. Thank you, Coach Tomlin. I'm getting me some Black Air Force Ones, too. <laughs> I love that. See, isn't that funny? There's people that are really Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and then there's Matt Stell who's just gambling on them. Yeah, and my stepdad's <laughs> from Pittsburgh, though, so I got okay. some roots there. All right. I love it. I love it. Yeah, they're 8-2, and two, so people are winning some money if you're betting Let's on them. Let's go. Let's Maybe go. Maybe I should join in. Come on. All right. Thank you, Matt. We're live from the CMA Awards with Froggy.